Tizen is Samsung's new operation system, which is used in their TVs. This year it underwent a slight facelift that makes it even more convenient. In cooperation with the manufacturer, I show you how it works and looks. Tizen TV is a platform based on the navigation bar at the bottom of the TV screen. It's well known from competitive products. I praised Samsung for it repeatedly because imitation of good ideas is an even better idea. It just works great. Citizens of the HD world equipped with smart TVs usually use only a few selected applications and functions. With this architecture, they will have an ultra-fast and easy access to all of them. Shortcuts in the main menu can be moved freely and you can pin additional options. The new Tizen offers all the options at the bottom of the screen without having to search for them too deeply. If you like to play with more advanced features, you can certainly go to the standard but slightly refreshed settings menu. This year Samsung listened to the comments from gamers, including my own, who have long asked for a transfer of the game mode to a more comfortable place. It's nice that now we have it at hand. Tizen TVs from Samsung also automatically recognize the signal source and adjust settings to it. Sometimes it can be annoying if you want to go deep into advanced settings, but most customers expect the hardware to be easy to use and do all the hard work automatically. That's how it works here. Simplification of the system can be seen everywhere, in a good sense of the word. For example, there is no shortcut to a media player. After connecting the USB drive, system just shows it in the connectors tab and from there you can go into easy to use and convenient player for movies, music or photos. This removes one of the shortcuts from the main menu, which would be useless without USB flash drive plugged in. The manufacturer also simplified the remote control, which now is ultra minimalistic. It's a shame that Samsung abandoned the motion recognition. This slows down entering passwords or navigating web browser. Fortunately, there is an alternative in the form of a virtual remote control. Mobile application Samsung Smart View allows you to use a digital version of the remote control and also gives you access to trackpad, which can control the cursor on the screen in the TV's web browser. The app also allows for the fast transfer of photos, music or videos from your phone or tablet directly to the big screen. The third search option is voice recognition function activated from the remote control. It works very well. Obywatel HD. In summary, the Tizen TV 2016 operation system is another step on the way to simplify the management of the TV. Personally, I hope that the next season the producer will return to the remote control with motion recognition. But from the software point of view, there are only small details left to tinker with. Samsung has chosen a very good direction for their platform. Keep it up, guys! Thanks for watching citizens, if you like my video go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you like, visit my blog on citizenhd.pl. See you later citizens, bye!